This week is our spotlight on the Red River Gorge. We're highlighting some of the amazing things that make the area so special. It's a beautiful place for hiking, camping, and kayaking, but the fun doesn't stop on the ground though. Look up and you'll find a lot of people scaling the rock walls that tower above. LAX 18 Sean Moody is in the gorge with more. Yeah, we're continuing our spotlight on the Red River Gorge today with a focus on climbing. Of course, it's something that we know people come from locally for. Uh, this is Muir Valley. It's 350 acres in Rogers, Kentucky of hiking trails and of course climbing on this famous Corbin sandstone that the gorge is famous for. People come from, of course, all over the surrounding areas, the state, sometimes the country, even the world to come here and climb on these routes. It's actually a major economic driver for this part of the region. Chris is belaying me today. Chris on belay. Belay is on. Climbing. Well, I'm on. There's something magical about this place. When it comes to living your passion, you know, it's just this amazing outdoor playground. Chris Cheney pretty much has it figured out. He grew up in the Red River Gorge. I, I was always out in the woods, and one day I stumbled upon Military Wall um, and saw some people climbing, and I thought that, that would be a lot of fun. That's how all this got started. As I was learning to do it, was having to recruit other people. Um, to go with me. So I'd say, hey, let's try rock climbing. And so I would have to learn and teach, which I don't recommend that. That's <laughs> a stressful way to learn to rock climb, but it's what I had at the time. After a while, Chris left home. He got an office job in Colorado. Now though, you good? Yep. All right. He's back home, making a living from that passion he discovered on this rock as a climbing guide. I want to help people do this safely and have fun and be part of that. You know, I want to share the experience with them. It's very rewarding to do that. Is that enough rope or any more? No, that was good. He took us out to Recess Rock, a beginner crag in Muir Valley. All right, you are on belay. You might not know it if you're not a climber, but this area is world famous. It ends up being on people's bucket list. They see the pictures and like I said, this rock is, is unique in its visual aspects. It's it's stunning to look at and even just for the hiking if you just go out and hike trails and see the rock it's it's amazing. It's not uncommon to be at some of the more popular crags and hear you know different languages, European languages, uh, people from all over the, the world. Some of the most well-known climbers on the planet come here. I was in the store one day and Conrad Anchor walked in and I knew him and I was like this is the most famous person I've ever met. Which brings a lot of money to the businesses in the area. There's a benefit. You, you can see it. Um, you can see in the parking lot at the Kroger that there are a lot of camper vans, there are a lot of uh, people from, you know, out of state plates. Okay. You don't have to be experienced to get on the wall. I've had everything from complete total beginners that have no experience whatsoever, what? no background with climbing to people who are basically looking for a belay partner. Getting them to the top of the route's not the important thing. It's that they had fun and if they get on the route, they're not having fun. It's okay for them to come down and look. we move on to something else. Can sit back? For a kid who grew up to live his passion every day on these walls, it's hard to imagine anything better. Coming down, I feel like I've, I've done something good, put something positive into the world. And I feel like in the end, if we're not putting positive things in the world, we're not doing it right. All right, so if you've enjoyed the sort of glimpse into what climbing in the Red River Gorge is like, and you would like to come check this out for yourself, uh, you can hire any number of guides who are in the area here. They'd certainly love to take you out. And then there's also Rocktoberfest coming up in October. It's going to be a big festival, really showing off the majesty of the gorge here. At the Red River Gorge, Sean Moody, LAX 18 News.